All right, I found a pair of Ed Hardy sweatpants. I think they are, I'm not sure what, yeah, they're $3. A lot of stuff here is $3. Um, these Crocs, they look like they're really nice. Clean, new condition there too. I found a little Sanrio eraser. How cute is that? And I think we might be getting these potentially. Eric's taking a look here. I'm trying to see if it's gonna it's like, wipe out or not. There's also a green one here. They went three a piece on those. Yeah, I might. Okay. We'll see. I never bought these things before. <laughs> Oh, baby, trees. Like nah, they're just kind of. Oh, okay. They're just kind of funny. Okay, how much is this? Fuck each. I'm in love with this snowman here. They have ten dollars on him. I think I'm gonna get him, but I don't know how to do this without Eric's assistance. <laughs> He's pretty cool. A lot of Grinchy stuff. Oh, I love those Valentine like themed throw pillows. I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day. They always have such nice stuff at this yard, so. And a Steve Madden wallet. Right here. It's not authentic. Oh, these hair clips are so cute. Ten cents. I'm just gonna take all three of those because I really like them. I'll use them. Eric picked up these. What are these, Eric? Little candles? Little Santa candles. Little I might need Santa them candles for two dollars, and then it was like these tiny little guys. And what are these? These are all candles. Cute little vintage Christmas stuff. Yeah, I love it. I like the Santa ones. Yeah, they are cute. Ones. I've never seen those before. Yeah. Five dollars for this box. Welcome to our web. I'll check out this watch. What does that say? Bobo something? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Bo Bobo bird. Never heard of that. Maybe take a check. Take a look at that. Seems like that's. I'm gonna pass on that watch. They're pretty. Some nice stuff here. Let's see if we can find anything else. These boots over here. Excuse me. I got hiccups. What's <laughs> this? Tootsie toy. Three dollars on that. Let's put it back together. Um, we got a big teddy bear over here. Some like handmade. Cabbage Patch Kids dolls. A big old teddy. Look on this table. I looked on this table. It's a little, little things. Not everything is priced. It's a candy cane. Got some old stuff here. 
Smart puppets. Five. Here or down yonder. You know what I mean? Down below. Please. <laughs> there, it's being over here. Okay, hang on. Like, Keep up the prince, though, like. Yeah. Send him to PA. <laughs> so I'll never get my money. <laughs> It's like the ones I said. Yeah. And they got nice, nice stuff here. This thing is a pin cushion. Oh my gosh. That's kind of interesting. So yeah. Well yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Sounds like three cake stands. That they have five dollars on it. I think it's for all three, so we'll probably take those. <laughs> all right, guys, so we are ready for the haul with this yard sale footage video. So, this past week, yard sales were okay, not like amazing but you just never know week to week um what you're gonna find and that type of thing so i didn't have a whole lot of footage so i'm just gonna stick the haul at the end of this one so hopefully you guys enjoyed the bit of footage that you did see so the first thing that i got was this adidas windbreaker and it looks like this it's got these wonderful rainbow colors all over it. This was brand new. Still has the original tags attached. It's a size extra large, which is always good. Um, so this was only $5, which I think is an amazing deal considering it was new with tag. So I paid $5 for this, and I listed it as a buy it now for $59.99. So I thought that was a great great score there at one yard sale i found these crocs these are really nice i i really do like crocs i was the type of person that hated them at first but ever since i started wearing a pair they're just so comfortable so i found these these are nice they're black with like a fur lining and they're in really nice clean condition they're a women's size 10 um, and a men's size 8 so found these i think i paid two dollars i want to say for these and i listed them as a buy it now for 39 dollars and 99 cents i also found a pair of ed hardy sweatpants these are black and they have like the blingy sides i know it's hard to see but they're like a skull with butterfly wings and then this side down the leg it says los angeles and then that's what the back looks like. So Ed Hardy stuff was really popular back in, what was it, early 2000s? So Y2K era. Um, and that stuff, all of those clothing is coming back in style. Um, the Ed Hardy Von Dutch as well, if you guys remember Von Dutch. So definitely, if you find Ed Hardy pieces, pick them up because people are going gaga again <laughs> over them so i paid three dollars for these sweatpants and i listed them on auction with a starting price of 59 dollars and 99 cents so i think i'll at least get that much for them but we'll see at one yard sale this was pure nostalgia for me i had this exact same pillowcase when i was a little girl uh, this one is a pound paris it's from 1987 there's like a cat head here on top and it's in really nice clean condition double sided i paid 25 cents for this pillowcase um or maybe it was 50 cents 25 cents or 50 cents and i listed it as a buy it now for 13 dollars and 99 cents <laughs> i kind of squealed when i saw that because it's just it's fun to see the things that you had when you were younger when you're out and about eric picked up this vintage dale earnhardt uh, t-shirt 
So this is a good one. When it comes to vintage racing shirts, um, the all over prints are usually pretty good. Um, and by all over, it's when like there's stuff on the front and as well as the back. And it, it helps that this is also a Dale Earnhardt and it's a size large. So um, this here we paid 50 cents for and we listed it as a buy it now for $69.99. Kind of an interestingly weird find. I found a Sanrio eraser at a yard sale and it's in this cute little kind of case. It says pants on it. Obviously it comes out so you can use the eraser. It's from 2017 and it's of a San X character called Sumiko Garashi. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. But Sanrio items and San X items can do pretty well. Um, people do collect these types of things. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I got to get it. I paid 25 cents for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99 just for a little eraser. <laughs> then Eric and I found these really pretty like crackle glass pieces. This one is like an orange pitcher and these are hand blown. This was $3. I listed this as a buy it now for $15.99. And then we also found this green one. Again, it's like a crackle glass pitcher that's hand blown. So we paid $3 for this one as well. And I also listed this one as a buy it now for $15.99. All right, the next items, uh, we got a big box full of these. These are by Limax. I had never seen this particular village before, uh, but Limax had a sugar and spice Christmas village. I'm trying to see if there, this was from 2004, so it's back there a ways. I, like I said, had never seen this village before, so we decided to pick it up. It was a whole box of it. We paid $35 for all of what was in the box. So this one here is called the Ginger Sweet Manor, and we have this one listed as a buy it now for $65. So these are definitely ones to look out for, I think. Um, there was also this piece here. This one's a little smaller and it's called Gingerbread Cottage. This one we have listed as a buy it now for $44.99. Uh, then I have actually, there were two packs of these trees. They actually already sold. Um, the person bought both of them and I listed them as a buy it now for $19.99 a piece and they bought both. Uh, there was also this candy covered bridge piece. This one here we have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. There was also a just lot that was a baggie of some random little village pieces and some candy cane like light posts. And these here, this whole lot we listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. And then the last thing that was in that box was these um, pieces of road. Uh, they're like jelly beans, really cute. So there was some curved pieces and some straight pieces. So we listed these all together for a buy it now of $54.99. So that was a good find overall. I found this pullover hoodie and this is by free people really nice like velvet kind of tie-dye um hooded pullover this is a size large by free people i paid just one dollar for this and i listed this on auction with a starting price of 49 dollars and 99 cents there's one other listed but theirs is a size small and they want like a hundred some dollars for it so We'll see, I put it on auction just in case. So I found another gourd. <laughs> I couldn't say no to this one though because it's actually a little like night light. It lights up and it's this really cute snowman. He has like a cutout on his tummy and he's got a little pipe in his mouth with a felt hat. This is by Gallery 30. 
and just a really cute one. I loved him. I paid three dollars for the gourd and I listed him as a buy it now for $29.99. This here is a glass um, swan. It's a lidded kind of like candy dish um, and just looks like that really pretty pink color. Uh, this one here I feel like might have came from an auction um, but I got it listed recently so I decided to show it. Um, this here I listed as a buy it now for $24.99 so I probably paid less than $5 for this. Same with these salt and pepper shakers. These are by Lennox. They're called the Chili Chap Salt and Pepper Set. And they're these little like Christmas penguins. Really cute. So again, these came from an auction, I'd say. Um, we probably paid maybe five, five, I'd say five dollars or less for these as well. And I listed these as a buy it now for $39.99. And this piece I got at a yard sale. Um, I'm pretty sure this is by Department 56. It is a wooden fence for like a Christmas village, but it's got these trees and Santa Clauses and snowmen on. So this would be cute for like a little Christmas village. It's a pretty decent sized piece of fence. I paid $1 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. Some things that I haven't listed yet that we got um, because we're not quite sure what we're doing with them yet. Eric got this um, all of these little candles he paid two dollars for it so <laughs> like these candles are just little tiny Santa Clauses and there's a couple of them in there as well as these little brass stars to um, put them in and then in the box were these tiny little Santa candles just a couple of them and then these just like taper style candles. So all of that for just $2. And then we also got this box full of um, Christmas ornaments. We paid $5 for this entire box. Um, there were some interesting pieces in here. There were these like snowmen in there. They're marked Hong Kong. And then just all sorts of, just all sorts of older glass um, Christmas ornaments. Some of them do have wear, obviously, but um, people still like using these, especially to like fill bowls and things like that. So I didn't list any of these yet. I haven't decided. I'll probably, when I do, if I do, I'll just lock them up into a lot. So that whole box for five bucks. Um, at one yard sale, I got these really nice hair clips for myself. These were 10 cents a piece. They're very heavy too. So there were three of them. I'm actually wearing one right now, um, but I thought those were nice. So I got those. I never showed this in my last haul, but I got this at a yard sale. I paid 50 cents for it. It's this cardboard um, trick-or-treat type pail. It has this really nice uh, witch design on the inside. This isn't really worth much, so I decided to keep it because I think this would be really cute to put some like Halloween candy in or something like that closer to Halloween. So I, I did like that. It's pretty sturdy as well. Also for myself, I picked up this towel set Set of two kitchen towels these are halloween related it says eat drink and be scary and these were a dollar looks like they had originally purchased them at ross so i'll use those come closer to halloween and then at the same yard sale i got these two packs of spatulas and these are peanuts spatulas and i paid a dollar for these ones and they are kind of just like fall related so I got those. Looks like they originally bought those at Ross as well. I'm curious if there's a price. They originally paid $5.99 for them. So I got them for a dollar. And then they also had a pack of Valentine's Day ones as well. So I paid a dollar for this pack too. 
So I thought that was a great deal. Then just some other stuff that I picked up for us. I got this t-shirt that looks like this. It has a really cool looking graphic on it. Um, I paid 50 cents for this. It's by a company called Riot Society. So I got that for me. Uh, I also got this top for me. This is by a company called Joy Lab. And it's just this long sleeved sweater. Looks like that. This was $1. Then I also got this top. I thought this was so pretty. It's like a pink colored long sleeve top with these um, lace inserts on the sleeves. And this is by a company called Como Black. And that was $2. So I got that. And then Eric, I found this for Eric. Um, he likes this brand. It's a Metal Militia hooded jacket. This was $2, so got that as well. So that is pretty much everything for this video, footage video in the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and let me know what you found this past week at yard sales. I will see you next time.